How's it, how's it, how's it, cuz? It's time to Valaau with me, Mr. Valaau Dicky Chang. Join us as we meet your uncles, your aunties, your brothers, your sisters. Your brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins, neighbors, grandmother, all the ohana. We'll take you to breathtaking places you've never been. Meet famous people you've never seen. Kick back and cruise, you know the rules. Aloha kawaii, mahalo nulo, and thank you for joining us this week in yet another exciting and informative episode of Vala'au, I'm Dickie Chang. Some of you may recall that several months ago we officially celebrated the 25th anniversary of Vala'au here on our Garden Island Kauai. That's right, 25 years. Well, around 25 years ago, we featured a young man here in our Garden Island Kauai from Kalaheo, John Jardine. Many of you folks know John Jardine is a world largemouth bass fishing champion, and he won a championship 25 years ago in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, first of all, we're going to rewind that Vala'au time capsule. You're going to be able to see an old introduction 25 years ago. You'll also be able to see some old commercials unedited. So what are we waiting for? Let's check out one of the original episodes of Vala'au 25 plus years ago featuring John Jardine. Don't go away. You aren't gonna, you're going to want to love to check this out. Get ready to crack up. Vala'au with John Jardine and the early beginnings. Again, early openings, old commercials. Enjoy. It's Vala'au with Dickie Chang, brought to you by Nesbeta Tile, Kuhio Motors, BFI System, Kauai Lumber, Sumo's Restaurant, Ron's Puhi Paint, Kauai Realty, Hawaiian Creative Video, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Custom Limo. Aloha Kauai and welcome to Vala'au. I'm Dickie Chang. Today we have an exciting show lined up for you. First, we'll be visiting with three-time Hawaii State bass fishing champion, Kala Hale's John Jardine. We'll also be seeing how some local people are cooling off in the heat of summer. We'll be taking you to beautiful Hopi Falls in the mountains of Kapahi. So stay tuned, Vala'au will be right back after some words with our sponsors. With a warm and helpful staff on hand, Kauai Lumber at the Lawai Cannery is ready to fill all your home care needs. Womanized framing lumber, prime trim from Georgia Pacific, windows from Milgard, and hardware from Simpson. As one of the main suppliers of Kihuna Plantation, we also offer customized services like container shipments, special orders, and job site delivery. Reduce your maintenance concerns with prime trim from Georgia Pacific. At Kauai Lumber, supplying the needs of Kauai with quality materials is our main priority. Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Ed. And when we're done with the afternoon luau, we watch Vala Ao with Dickie Chang on Channel 6 Kauai Cable Vision. And Channel 7 Garden Island Cable Vision. You know which one I'm talking about. Vala Ao. Vala Ao. Vala Ao. Vala Ao. Vala Ao. Vala Ao. Vala Ao.
Mahalo Kauai and welcome to Vala'au. I'm Dickie Chang. Imagine living and being born and raised on our garden island of Kauai and fishing for a living. Fishing not only for a living but for all of your life. Now with me this afternoon is not only a one-time or a two-time but the three-time state Hawaii bass fishing champion John Jardine. John Aloha and welcome to Vala'au. Thank you Dickie. Tell us a little bit about where we're at right now. Well we're on Waitao Reservoir which is owned by McBride Sugar Company and it's about a quarter mile outside of Koloa Town. It's further north, northeast actually. Now you are the Hawaii State Bass Fishing Champion and uh, last year something very exciting happened uh, in your life. Can you tell the viewing audience what it exactly happened? Well I, I went to um, Nashville and uh, won the national tournament for the Goodyear Big Bass World Championship. And that uh, definitely changed your life as many of us out there know. <laughs> exactly, it changed my life a lot. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, what the grand prize was and tell us a little bit about the fish that you caught. The grand prize was $250,000, which consists of a brand new GMC truck, 4x4 truck, um, an Astro boat, bass boat, which was fully equipped, and uh, $200,000 cash. $20,000. A year, a year for, for 10 years. For 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so when everybody sees you cruising around Kalaheo, for that matter, on the island of uh, Kauai and see you with that uh, beautiful red GMC with the JJ's Big Bass Fishing Tour, uh, how does it feel like that everybody's waving to you like you're the local town hero here in Kalaheo? It feels good. It feels good. Sure it does. But um, I don't like to get big headed or anything about it. I, I just like to fish, period, you know. Well, one of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to return to Tennessee uh, in a couple of uh, weeks, uh, for that matter, and uh, defend your title. Uh, what's the odds out of 50 other anglers to bring home the title once again to Hawaii? The odds are great, actually, for winning something like that. I mean, I've, the tournament has been going on for maybe now three or four years now and never have the same person won it twice in a row, you know, so it's it's pretty high odds, but you know, you take a shot. So your ambition obviously is to once again bring the title home not only for Hawaii, but for our island of Kauai. Yes, exactly. Now you get calls on a daily basis throughout the mainland because of the fact that many people know that you are the big bass uh, champ and you happen to be on the island of Kauai. Uh, do you take uh, many tours around daily? Yeah, pretty good. Some, you know, some weeks is pretty good, you know, it depends on how much tourists we got down here because bass fishing up in um, the States is really a big sport for the, f for the fact that they don't have an oceans like we have surrounded by water, you know, and um, that's all they have to fish is freshwater. So when they come down here and they find out about freshwater fishing, you know, they want to try and try their luck over here and see what it's like to fish in Hawaii for, for bass and peacock bass. And not only that, but you do also take uh fellow bass anglers from the Big Island, from Maui, from Oahu, oh, and yeah. from the other islands? Yeah, sure. Because um, there's a lot of people that move from, from the States or, or they're born here, they love to fish fresh water. And um, Kauai and Oahu, I, I'm not sure about Maui, but Kauai and Oahu is only two islands that have freshwater fishing. And Kaua um, Oahu has only one spot that you can go, actually, it's like Lake Wilson. And on Kauai, you've got a number of areas that you can go fish freshwater. John, we're facing rather adverse conditions. Uh, we were bracing ourselves for what would was a threat for a hurricane, now downgraded to a tropical storm. Emilia, however, we do have very strong winds. Uh, what are the chances of us actually catching fish today? We'll probably catch some, Dickie, because um, even though the, the wind is blowing and stuff, we stay out of the wind and stuff. fish got to eat, and we'll probably catch some nice fish today. As long as we can stay out of the wind, more or less, you know. Actually, this is a great time of the day because of the fact that it is rather overcast. So, Overcast and the fact that we are here in the afternoon. Usually in the late in the afternoon or early in the morning is the best time for bass fishing. During the midday, um, you, you won't have that much action, but you know, either early in the morning or late in the afternoon, and that's when they usually bite. Great. Well, we're looking for some great fishing action, and we're going to take a short break. And when we get back, we're going to take a look a little bit about our equipment that we'll be using throughout the day and the boat that we'll be on. So stay tuned. Vala Alva will be right back. Kauai is, to me, the most incredible place. I mean, I, at least I've been to. Just got off the helicopter ride. The weather is beautiful and wonderful to see that Kauai is back. We're taking a lot of videos so that we can prove to the people at home that they have no reason to bypass this island. It's wonderful. For me, it's been something that's been taking care of me my whole life. My father was a tour guide. And I think most of the people that I know, that I grew up with, who were making good money, were making money because of the tourism industry. I think everything is great here. And I think we came back 
again and and tell everybody that what great islands this is. <laughs> Thank you, Kauai. We don't want to leave. <laughs> we want to stay here forever. I try to sell Kauai to whoever I, you know, whoever I meet. We honeymooned in Jamaica before, and, and that was just beautiful. But this is this is no comparison. It's absolutely wonderful. It, there's no comparison whatsoever. <laughs> We're the Snows. We're from Connecticut. My name is Deborah. My name is Bill. And we're enjoying ourselves here. This is our first visit. And it's absolutely beautiful. We love it. We should be supporting tourism, I think. I mean, with, with, all, of, with all of the might, with all of our might. This message brought to you by your friends at the beautiful Hyatt Regency Kauai Resort and Spa at sunny Hoipu Beach. and welcome back to Valaau. John, can you tell us a little bit about the boat that we're traveling in? Well, Dickie, it's a 17-foot Monarch. It's a fiberglass boat, and uh, it's got a 50-horsepower outboard motor. Also has an electric trolling motor in the front, pedestal seats, and an electric depth finder. Now, how effective is this depth finder for us as far as fishing today? Well, it helps a lot, actually, to tell you how deep water you're fishing in and what's below you. You know, if there's fish below you or there's weeds or rocks, that all tells you a little bit about what the fish are doing down there, you know. What kind of lures are we going to be fishing with today? We're fishing mostly topwaters because of this weather conditions. We have the wind and um, rough water. The, the topwater fish usually fish on the top for, for their food, you know, and they usually come up for it. Whatever falls into the water, they'll, they'll eat it providing something to eat. <laughs> now the qualifying fish that you caught to take you up into Tennessee was a little over eight pounds. Was that caught in this particular reservoir? Yes, it was. It was like right down where the bridge is. You see where the bridge is? Yeah. The water was a lot lower though at that time. The water, actually there was a little stream that dumps into this reservoir right under the bridge. And we're, we were at the level where you couldn't, you couldn't go behind the bridge. It was like in about maybe, the fish was maybe like in a foot or two feet of water. Now that lure that you're holding right now happens to be one of your favorite lures. Tell us a little bit about how much it costs to make that lure and tell us a little bit about the fact that that was the lure that caught your winning six pound bass in Tennessee. Well, it only cost me about $1.25. I buy them in bulk. I buy the blades separate and I buy the heads. Heads come with the hook already. And I buy the skirts from another company. And um, I just put it all together and um, try to see what the fish will like. And this was one of the ones that, that they really liked. This one, and I have another one that's all silver. This one has silver and copper. And um, this one was like my secondary lure up in Tennessee. I had another silver one, which I lost, and then I had to tie this one on. And this is the one that I caught that fish with in Tennessee. And when you caught that particular fish, for that matter, when you showed that lure to your fellow anglers, uh, there were a lot of chuckles. Yeah, quite a bit, but uh, when I finally weighed in the winning fish, there wasn't chocolate too much after that. And how many pounds was that winning fish back in Tennessee? It was six pounds even, exactly, because um, when they put it on a digital scale, it shows you up to the tenth of an ounce, and it came out 6.00, which is pretty extraordinary that um, fish are exact weight. In other words, exactly two pounds or exactly four pounds, it was exactly six pounds. Yes. Yes, which is kind of unusual. So that would probably come out to be approximately a little over $41,000 per pound. So a lot more uh, expensive than sashimi during the winter as far yeah. as your jackpot yeah, is pretty concerned. much more expensive, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's great. So we're going to be using this type of lures and uh, top, uh, top running top, lures top as waters, far as... Yeah. Now, are we looking at getting two canary or the peacock? Bass, as you we, can get, we can get both with the top water lures that we use in the either one will we'll hit the lures. Top waters usually attract either largemouth or peacock bass. Okay, so what do you think the odds are for me to catch a fish today? Very slim. <laughs> you think it's gonna be very <laughs> slim, <laughs> no, huh? No. You think yeah, you're gonna no, catch you a lot of fish, it'll be very uh, slim for me. I don't know, it's hard to say. Okay. You probably catch something. Before okay. me probably. Well I'll tell you what then uh, why don't we go fishing? Let's go fishing and sure. uh, we'll bet a buck on who catches the most fish. Shoot. Thank you. 
John uh, Jardine from Hawaii. Man, it took you three days to get here. Almost, almost yeah. three days, a day and a half. Well, last year it took almost three days. Did it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. John, I gotta believe that fishing for bass in a paradise like Hawaii is a little bit different than it is in Nashville, Tennessee, is it not? Tell us about it. Yes, it is a, a lot different. It's a lot smaller in pounds where the fish are. You know, it's easier to find the fish. And, um, you can almost see them, right? Almost, yeah, almost. It's, it's, it's a lot easier than here. It's, I mean, two different ball games. Got any idea of how you're going to fish this tournament, or is that something you just kind of keep to yourself? I'll go follow him. <laughs> I like this man's attitude, John. What do you think? Positive attitude. That's the way to go in. Positive attitude. You got any similar thoughts? I hope to win. I'm going to try my best. Aloha, we're going to be taking a short break, but like the fish that's being so hungry today, what we want to do is we're going to take a lunch break, and right now what we have compliments of our good friends, uh, Cynthia and company at Joni Hana at Local Grinds at the Kukui Grove Shopping Center. we got a plate lunch over here with some chicken, we got some hash, we got some shrimp, we got some luncheon meat, we got some teriyaki noodles and namasu with a lot of rice. And John, are you hungry? Definitely. Definitely hungry. <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll be right back, and hopefully the fish will be as hungry as we are. Mahalo. Welcome to Silva's restaurant. May I take your order? Hey, give me one porterhouse steak medium, one shrimp scampi, one teriyaki butterfish, I like one chicken katsu, one breaded calamari, and a Siamese special. And let me check out your kiki menu for my junior boy. Yes, I have a chef salad, a sumo burger, a large order of fries, and that cute guy behind the sushi bar. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner with Kui Grove Shopping Center. <laughs> Which one of you drivers has a limo? Dr. Chang? Yes, I am. First time in a limo? Dr. 
Dr. Chang? First time in a limo so luxurious and spacious. In a world full of dreams, why not fulfill yours? I love to be. And when I'm not rollerblading, I like to watch Vala R with Dicky Chang. Well, we're back from a break, and uh, uh, Captain John, how was the uh, lunch? Oh, everything was on us. The teriyaki was good, chicken was on us, tender, and the noodles was terrific. Best lunch I had in a long time. Oh, right on. And remember, that's at Joni Hanna's Local Grinds Kukui Grove Shopping Center, and say hi to John Ishi for us. Aloha. So how many fish you think you caught, grand total? Since when? Since I started fishing when I was a kid? Yeah. Gee, it's hard to say. A few thousand, maybe. A couple thousand. I would say, I mean, it's hard to, hard to really put a number on, I mean, you know. But you told me earlier you never even caught one papil before. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of fish I'm not really good at. I get, I get too many snags, and I don't want the patience just to sit by my pole and, and wait for a fish bite. And then I, I, like, I hate fighting the wind and the, the waves and everything else, you know. Dickie, you see when we reach down by those logs down there? Yeah. If you can, now, only if you can. Like you cast right up alongside the logs. Garen Hanapa. Ooh, some big boys in the grass. I think we should be using rubber frogs. How my top spinner? This is good bait for the kind. Oh, yeah. Plenty of fish in the grass, though. Okay. A little closer to the log, yeah? Yeah. How big is this reservoir? The, the main reservoir is about 660 acres. And this is like what, all irrigation water? Or? Uh, no, some is irrigation, some is um, for, they use them for wash the cane and stuff for the meal. And then, they, and then for, for running to the boilers and stuff, and they put them back, they recycle the water again. So it goes in the mill and it comes back out again. So in here we got large and smallmouth bass. From what I heard, there is smallmouth. I never caught one. All the time I fish here, I never caught a smallmouth bass yet inside here, but I've, I've heard that there is smallmouth bass in here. And then there's two canary and what else? And tilapia. Try, try mention some of the names of the different lures. Oh, well, some of the ones you get, the one that you're using now is a devil's horse. And um, I just was using a moss boss, I took off the moss boss. And you get a variety of spinner baits and jerk baits, deep divers, crank baits, medium runners. Yes, I mean, there's, you can go on and on. Uh, they, they, as, as probably as we speak, it guys pr producing and inventing different lures for bass fishing. The guys, when they come down here, what? They bring their own lures too? What's Some guys, if they plan to fish down here, if they know they get freshwater fishing and stuff, some guys will bring their own, you know, like try this stuff over here. Well, what is that over here? Watch, they can hook on big one now. Oh. Oh, you got him. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I hope you got that, buddy. <laughs> Would you consider that the, um, Fish population in this reservoir is very plentiful. Yeah, I'd say there's a lot of fish in this reservoir. A lot of fish. How come I'm not catching? You think? <laughs> I don't know. Just, just because, or just because? I mean, I, ne I never catch. I caught only two fish so far. Okay, here was here's a nice cast. Yeah, there was a good cast. Oh, got him! Right Hanapa, on. look him, look him, look him, look him, Hanapa! Woo! Good size one, good size one. I got him, I got him, got him, got him, got him. Whole top flight action on JJ's. Look him, look him, look him, look him. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is good one, good one, good one, good one. Don't give him snack, bring him up. Good one, good one, good one, good action. Whoa, 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 he's under the bushes. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, keep See, I can feel him ducking under the yeah, trees. Yeah. Keep him up. That's a typical two canary. The bugger went down. Look, no, look, right 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 look, 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 all right, yeah! Hey! Yes! Yeah. How come I'm not catching anything? I don't know, I was just thinking, how come? Was it me or what? Just because. Look at that. Good size, huh? Yeah, that's a nice fish there, Dickie. Is this large mount? Yeah, that's a fish there. Oh, yeah. You got him, you kept him out of the gas. Let me give you some snack on your belt so you can get an easy time. Okay, there, now you can, now you can. You got him, Dickie. That's a way to do it. I was actually really happy with that cast, you know? Yeah, yeah, that was a good cast. Cool, this thing just went bite him and went down, man. These uh, star hooks is really, once these buggers get hooked, they are. Uh, Travel hooks, yeah. Play a job sometime, it is. Get on fire, it's right below you. Okay, I get him, though. This is guarantee results of JJ's Big Bass Tours. Well, I try my best, Dickie. I try to bring you with a fish out. Right on, Dickie. Okay, here we go. Let this one go. Oh, this is Big Bass. Nice fish there, Dickie. Ow. Ow. Give your fingers back now. <laughs> All Good right. Dish. Got him. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, definite results. Okay, it's two up there, Chieftain. We two, two now. You know what? We got one saying, Dickie. <laughs> one, one, good, one good cast. <laughs> one good cast is when you put the lure exactly where you want them. One perfect cast is when you put the lure exactly where you want them, but you catch on fish. Yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> the record, the state record was caught in New Jersey, boy. And how big is that? Nine pounds, nine ounces. Oh, that must be a big looking big bass. Big boy, huh? um, Richard Bros from Kika caught that, caught that fish. Oh, look at that fish in there. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I know it's weeds, I know oh, that's everything. A nice, that's a nice cast. <laughs> oh boy, miss him. You seen a fish swirl by? Dicky got one. <laughs> Stick fish. <laughs> you got a stick fish there, Dickie. Wait, no broke my lure now. Fish is not frog. But he got him out. He got him out, though. <laughs> Even though he got him out, though. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a nice hook. Yeah, right there. So, oh, oh, look, look, look him, look him. He's coming for you, look. Hey. He was chasing. Yeah, he was. You got him? No, oh. no. It's just my lure was stuck in the grass. Oh, no, big one. Yeah, big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, big one. Good size, boy. Big boy. Oh yeah. Took an arrow, big took an arrow. Oh. Bass, bro. Took an arrow. Oh, took, yeah. Look him. Wow. Oh, hold there, hold there, big guy. All right, all right. Settle down, settle down. Ooh, you got him. <sighs> now, this is the kind you like, right here. This is a nice boy. He'd follow yours, you know. That's the you one see how, you see how red the eyes come when they come bigger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. There you go, Mr. Fiji. Thank you. Oh. He, he changed the other one. I threw mine right behind. That was a nice peacock. Huh? That's the one that was chasing mine. I, yeah, he changed the other and, and then he gave up on him, and then he saw this coming behind. So if you got, shit, I'd rather buy his lure than mine, then he's on. 
You got, how, how you doing, Dickie? <laughs> you got him, Dickie. Don't you worry. Don't let nobody tell you you don't know. It's out now. It's not to get too carried away. Ah, <laughs> for Ah, for the camera. <laughs> Kind of funny that we never caught um, any like most of them was pretty good sized ones. I mean, not real big, but not none of them was real small either. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, the lures we're using too is pretty big lures, so the smaller fish are not gonna really go for for this kind of bigger lure. Oh, look at something just a boy right in front of us. So what are you tying on now? Did you tie on the same lure? Just retying your line? Yeah. I, I think uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I like try I like stick with this lure because it. Stays on the top, huh? So far, yeah, it produced pretty good, so. You know, I still... Stick with what's, wor what's working, right? Yeah, I still find it kind of amazing that this thing, um, you know, the two canary and the bass bite the same, same thing, you know? Same yeah. You know, you would think that they'd be different. I mean, for me, most of the time, two canary is like flies or maybe live bait, you know? Yeah, I used to think that two canary is only on it by, you know, live bait. And then um, after experimenting with all kinds of lures, they started hitting one certain type of lure, and I, I found that they work for, you know, they, they do bite lures. When they, they're aggressive, they, they bite lures. I don't know if I'm gonna get them out of there. Oh, oh yeah, look at that one. Oh, whoa, look yeah, at that one. Hey, go on, hey, go on. Woo! Yeah, hey, look. Pick him up, pick him up. Good we never leave. Keep up, keep it good up. we never leave, huh? Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Pick him up, pick him up. Oh, oh it's a good size one, good yeah, size. Yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah. Woo! Look him. Pick him up, pick him up. Pick him up, some bass, I think. Oh, yeah, look at that. Lucky thing we never turn around, huh? Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's coming, whoa. he's coming. Keep him up, keep the deep up. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. You're going right look, to the grass. Yeah, he wants to dig to the grass. Wow, That's these guys nice are good. Day. Yeah, this is a beautiful one. Look at him. He's stuck on Oh, you got him. Oh, yeah, he, he, he just... Oh, oh yeah, look at yeah. him. Whoa, nice look at that. Fish. Wow. Nice Chuka. fish. Another nice one, Dickie. Oh, you produce results, though, JJ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hooked him good, too. Yeah, he's Oh, man. You good. know what, bro? This is not gonna be one fun one for taking hooks off, but. Okay. Oh yeah, you come with the three hooks. You like? You need help with that? Yeah, I'm gonna need some help with this All one. Right. You know. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I see how that that works. That doesn't really hurt the fish, though. I I never got any complaints on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how that works, though. Look at this one, man. Amazing. A good thing you'd stick with that lure. Yeah, unbelievable, yeah? That was a good cast too, you made right up on the grass line. Yeah, that's what I liked it. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Look like this fish might have been hooked before. You yeah. see the marks on the side over there? All right, man. Watch it. Okay, I'm going to let this guy jump back in. Yeah, just put him down nicely inside the water. Come by the lip. When you when you let it go to fish. Oh, sorry. When you let it go to okay. fish, you just grab him by the lip like that. Oh, I see. And they just put them down in the water. Not too much of a splash. And there he goes. All right. Nice and lively. Nice and lively. That was a good one, man. Good fight. Dude. What's the score? 3-3, three, three, yeah? Yep. Now it's 3-3. Three, three. Welcome back, Kauai and John. Uh, we really want to thank you for a wonderful afternoon. Had a great yeah, time and learned a lot. And I had fun, too. <laughs> you know, this is my first time out here fishing in... Uh, you know, over 25 years as far as freshwater bass is concerned, I really want to thank you. It was a good time. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Dickie. So it looks like we're going to have to come back out because it's a 3-3 tie, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're finishing a draw. Now, for those of us that are watching out there, uh, be it many of the visitors uh, visiting on Kauai and or the local people, how do we get a hold of your bass tours? Well, you can call me at 332-9219, and I have an answering machine. You can leave a message if I'm not home, or I have a pager. The number is 654-4153. Call me anytime, day or night, whenever you want to go. It's fine with me. I'm ready to go fishing anytime you are.
Well, we spoke a little bit about some of the adverse conditions today, and I would really have to say that, uh, you know, we did catch three fish each, and it was great time in a very short period of time. And uh, I just want to say that uh, probably with better conditions, uh, they'll be able to catch a lot more fish. And by that time, maybe I get more fish trained, so they bite my little. <laughs> <laughs> well, John Jardine, we want to thank you, and we'll say mahalo to you, and uh, thank you very much for a wonderful right, day. You. Mahalo. Thank you. Coming up next, we'll take a plunge with the local brothers of Kapahi at Ho'opi'i Falls. Those are some great, great memories. Again, we'd like to say aloha to our very dear friend, John Jardine. And of course, as many of us know, no more largemouth fishing licensed guides, I don't believe, at Waitau Reservoir. I think it's private right now, but I'm not sure. You wanna go big bass fishing? Go check out Kaloa Bass Company itself. We're going to take a short break. One of the things I noticed, and you probably noticed, way back when, I spoke very, very, very slowly. And way back when, all my hair was black. We're going to take a very short commercial break, but don't go away. When we come back, we'll head up to the hills of Kapahi. Where else, he asked? Hopi Falls, better known to many as Hopi Falls. Don't go away. Check this out. Bye. Hawaiian Creative Video, offering a wide range of professional video production services, specializing in weddings with many attractive packages to choose from. Hawaiian Creative Video is known for its creative editing and also offers quality tape duplication. So for your next wedding or special occasion, call the team of professionals, Hawaiian Creative Video. Check out the chairs over there. Now, check the wings. Whoa, it's time for Fala'a with Dickie Chang. Whoa! 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 Ho'opi'i Falls, properly pronounced Ho'opi'i Falls by the old timers, is tucked away quietly in the green mountains of Kapahi. According to the Kapunas, the falls was named after a Hawaiian family which once lived in the vicinity. We were taken to the location by some of Kapahi's local boys who regularly cool off here to escape the hot summer heat. Come, Ekomomai, please join us.
The walk or hike is both simple and scenic. The trail is surrounded by lush green foliage and vegetation. After approximately a half a mile or 10 short minutes, we reached our reward, a cool dip in the clear mountain stream which feeds life and energy to Ho'opii Falls. In my sleep, I can still remember when the children cry every day, every day, every night. In my dreams, time heals the wounded, life goes on and on, but in my Some water now, one for my baby and one for my lady. Give me some water now. I need your love, yeah. Give me some water now. Oh please. I can still remember all the people in the sun. All the soldiers in the streets, soldiers in the streets. Everywhere, everywhere Work until the sun don't shine Time heals the wounded Life goes on and on But in my memory I hear you calling me Give me some water now for my baby and one for my lady Give me some water now I need your love, baby Give me some water now Oh, Calling me. 
Stay tuned, Kawaii. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Wow! <laughs> Bronze, cool heat, paint. At thinking time, don't go into the city. No bother with traffic, we make it so easy. Relax with the pros, you don't have to wait. We got the gear right here and the same clear paint. Hey, painting man. The year was 1961. Beehives and shift dresses were in vogue. Wailua Golf Course played nine holes. It was then, on this very corner, that Kauai Realty was born. For the past three decades, Kauai's oldest and largest real estate firm has fulfilled real estate needs of Kauai's people. Our offices in Lihue and Kalaheo are computerized and staffed with Kauai's most experienced agents. Kauai Realty, we are proud of our past and look forward to continuing our tradition of excellence. In the heat of the summer sun, we caught up with the Kapahi boys. Oh, my name is Jared. Father Bobs. Kalani. Pula. Jeremy. Now, Jeremy, how often do you folks come here? Well, after the beach, we come here a lot. We, we jump in um, the water and... We come here after mostly we surf like that. It's a lot of fun. Now, does this uh, particular area have a name? Um, Hopi Falls. How often have you folks been coming out here, Jarrett? From young time, we used to come here. Usually we come here only after we surf, but when I was young, we used to come down here every day. Now, we noticed that you folks were diving and uh, somersaulting and doing the jackknives and the bombs. How deep is the water out here? Pretty deep. I can even touch the bottom. Now, you folks are trying to touch the bottom, and you can't touch the bottom. Yeah. Is there anything, Kalani, further down the river? Um, get two waterfalls further down. With it, um, the second, get second waterfall, and with it, film Drastic Park, and get the third one that um, hardly anybody know of. So. Now, is that a far hike down there? Um, kind of, not, not that far. Kind of. Now, you folks have been coming here for a long, long time. You think you're going to be... Uh, Bringing your children and the future generations down here? Oh, yeah. We bring our children and they're our children's children. <laughs> Just have fun. <laughs> All the children, the grandchildren. Um, this place is going to be like a memory to us, for us. Well, great. We'd just like to thank you for uh, taking us out over here to Hopi Falls and uh, really enjoyed hanging out with the Kap uh, Kapahi boys. Mahalo, Barakaz. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Mahalo, local boy style. <laughs> Many of you watching, perhaps 40, 50, or maybe even 60 years ago, also cooled off in the waters of Ho'opi'i Falls. As we just heard from these local boys, the tradition will carry on, and Ho'opi'i will also be fond memories for the many generations to come. Aloha Kauai. We'd like to take the time out to sincerely thank each and every one of you for your tremendous support in our show, Vala'au. I'd like to take the time out to say aloha to Kichiro and Teruko Umetsu, as well as Sandy and Mike Takayezu from the Wailo Homestead area. I'd like to say aloha to Nara and Benjamin Napoleon Jr. from Kapa'a, as well as Uncle Paul and Auntie Eileen Panui from Koloa. We'd like to say haole lahanao or happy birthday to Madison Kalama, Ma Lama Lama o Keo Uli Dwart, born to Heidi and Bernie Dwart. We'd also like to say haole lahanao to Brenda Jose from Kekaha, to Crystal Lazama from Kapa'a, and last but not least to Jose Aguayo from Kuhio Motors. We'd like to say aloha to the newest additions on the Garden Island of Kauai, Kanani Lazama, born to Dorian and Buddy Lazama of Kapa'a, to Savannah Drew, born to Kathy and Brian Drew in Kalaheo, and also to Tyler John Kamahao Topenyo, born to Sonia and Eddie Topenyo of Lehui. Until next week, Valaao!
We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Valao. As always, we'd like to sincerely thank each and every one of you for watching Valao and making us a part of your weekend and week out festivities here at our beautiful Garden Island of Kauai. Please help the Kokua, the sponsors. Obviously, it is the sponsors that make Valao possible week in and week out. Don't forget now, people ask me, where is Valao? I know we're on Spectrum Cable 128, far reach from Channel 6, but Spectrum Channel 128, the days are the same. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 7 a.m., 12 noon, 4 p.m., 7 p.m., and of course, 12 midnight. And we'll let you know exactly the times that we do post it. But if you want to check out any of the recent or older uh, episodes of Valaau, you can just log on to YouTube, Valaau Kauai, YouTube, Valaau Kauai. It is time for us to hell on. As always, let's all continue to take care of our families, our friends, the neighbors, the Malahini and the Aina. And we'll check you guys next, next week. Only stay safe, Kauai, on Valaau. Valla am, 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 Valla am,